Hi, I'm Sajid and today I will be talking about functions in Python. So basically function is a block of code which only runs when you will call it. Uh, and then you can pass the data to a function and then you, you can expect the data in return from a function. So I will go to, I will just jump into the code. So in Python we use def keyword to create a function. So you always need to use def whenever you will, you want to create a function then uh, I can write the function name. I can write any name. Let's suppose any name. You can change this name to any other function name. Okay and then uh, I will write inside that function block I will write that what this function should do and uh, you should notice that we uh, for the uh, inside the inside the block we should have some indentation if i just write like this without any indentation uh, it will give you an error let's pay, let's suppose i say print my name is sajid if i run this code it will give me an error because it's saying that expected an indented indent indented block Sorry. So I have to provide some indent here, indentation here. So I will press tab and if I enter, now my function is this function is created and function name is any name, right? And now I will show you that how you can call a function because now this function is generated, but we have to call this function if you want to, to execute this function. So how I can call it? I will simply write the name of the function with parentheses, right? So whenever when I will pre well, when uh, I will run this code, I will execute this function. My name is Sajid. Now in this example, I am not giving any input to the function, and this function is not returning me anything. But what if I want to give some input to a function and uh, and what if I want to get something in response in in return? So let me create another function. Uh, let me create def my sum. So this function will sum the numbers. So let's suppose the numbers are x1 and x2. So these x1 and x2 are the arguments. So we can add any number of arguments here. Uh, so the, we can add any number of arguments by just putting a comma between them. So arguments will be comma separated here, right? And then simply, so maybe I will save in x3 equal to x1 plus x2, right? And I will return this x3. So here I will just mentioning that Okay, so when I will call this function, I will need to pass some arguments here. So whatever I will pass here, it will give me the sum. So since I need to pass some arguments, so I need to define the arguments. So let's suppose I, I have two variables S1 and S2, right? So here, now you should keep this thing in mind that I can maybe I can uh, so here I will just I'm just passing s1 and s2 because these variables are already defined right in my workspace but what if so I can use x1 and x2 and whatever I will pass in s1 it will go to x1 and whatever I will pass to s2 it will go to x2 so maybe instead of x1 and x2 I can also use s1 and s2 or I can use any variable name here right so maybe I will just use y1 and or x1 y2 so it doesn't matter whatever you are using here right 
so it's not necessary that you use the same input names what you're using here in the form of in the function argument so whenever i will run this code it should give me the since i need to save uh, so i can also save the result in my some new variable my result maybe my result equal to so now the sum will be saved in my my result my underscore result so this is how we passed an arguments to a function and this is how we got how we, this is how we get the return value now there can be scenarios in which you want to pass the arguments but you don't want any return value right so let me give an example let's suppose i want to create a function that will just print the number of the length of my string right def uh, get len maybe string st1 st or my string maybe it will i want it to print the string and then the length of the print uh, length of the string now if i want to uh, i can pass any string here i am good so here, here you can see that we that this function is not returning us anything although we are passing the input arguments but it is not returning anything and one more thing you need to notice here that i am not declare, declaring any string in advance i am just putting the string value here inside that uh, when when i am calling the function so as expected it it is printing two statements the first is string passed to me is i am good and length of the string is 9 right so these are the basics about functions like these are very basics uh, in i just so we just talked about the functions the arguments the input state the inputs and then we also talked about return so you need to keep one thing in mind that whenever a function will hit or whenever a function will reach the return statement it will be uh, like it will stop or it will just return the value and it will not be executed after that statement let me give an example let's say we have a function my sum okay and i after whatever i will write after this return it it will not be executed print i am done okay and so uh, these variable s1 and s2 i have already declared uh, in above code right 
here and when I'm passing I will pass this to this function my sum let me show you how what it will do let me change the name of the function my sum one right so you can see that it, it didn't execute this statement the reason was that we have already returned the value of uh, of the function so if i want to execute this statement then i have to write before return statement so you can see that print was done and then it returned me 44 so this is, is uh, all about the basics uh, if you want to go into more details you can also go into uh, you can also go to this link or uh, then there are different other things uh, like instead of return there is another term uses a yield uh, so you can uh, uh, you can check the details that what a yield do uh, what a yield does and then there are different uh, other methods to call a function maybe using map or maybe using uh, lambda lambda there are some other kind of functions uh, so i think that's all for the basics of function i hope you, that you understood the very basic uh, tutorial about the functions thank you for time bye